the handshake. And I just wonder what your take was on that, on how that went down, and what he kind of said afterwards. Yeah. Look, we uh, we shook hands before the game. Yeah. So that that happened, and at the end of the game, the usual process, no different. Uh, Roberto Martinez, you shake hands with the coach, then you go and shake hands with the referee. Uh, when I turned around, he was already off down the touchline, which is his right to do. He's celebrating. He's just beaten Canada. It was a big celebration for him. So, you know, he was off and I, I couldn't get to shake his hand. I went on to the field, shook the ref's hand, shook players' hands and didn't get to see him. That moment's gone. We're in the process now. Team huddle, you know, see your fans, flash interviews, calm yourself down so you don't see anything and move on. We know the difficulty that we'll face tomorrow, um, but we learned some, some lessons over the first two games. We know every game is different, um, but we also are very clear with our identity, uh, you know, and that's where we talk about those gaps. That's where that positive growth is for, for us, is to stay true to our philosophy, uh, you know, and close certain gaps. We're going to have another test to do that tomorrow against a fantastic team that has, it's going to fight for everything. But uh, our World Cup's not finished. Uh, you know, we're going to show up tomorrow with our goals very clear, um, respecting Morocco, but also respecting what we want to get out of the game tomorrow.